I was looking for some AA batteries. And right where I thought the AA batteries were, there was a bag of cedar balls. So I picked those up and looked at them and knew that I had to make something out of those. So I bought a whole bunch more. And then I bought some resin. Dr. Crafty is what this stuff is. And this is what happened. So I poured the green in first and then followed it with a whole bunch of clear and the idea was just to kind of make it a graduated uh, green to clear vessel. This Dr. Crafty stuff, it takes 24 hours to set. So it was in the pot at about 50 PSI, shrinking down the bubbles for about 24 hours. And as it turned out, this resin shrank quite a bit. But I was out of time, so I had to go with it. That's okay. So this is ultimately going to be the top of the vessel and I'm just making it flat and I'm going to bore out the middle so that I can reverse mount this and work on the base and the outside.
My original thought was straight sides, kind of a simple form. But as you'll see, uh, well, I always lean towards curves rather than straight sides. So that's what ended up happening here. I sanded from uh, 120 up to 1000 grit. And then I applied some shine juice, quite a few coats. And here I've got it reverse mounted and I'm boring out the inside now. I've pointed this out in previous videos, but you'll see the flute of my bowl gouge is at about 1 o'clock right now. And by the time I'm done with this sweep, it's going to be at about 3 o'clock. I'm just twisting it slowly clockwise as I start to sweep across. And I have found that that reduces the amount of checks that I get. It just makes for a, a little bit safer sweep across the bottom. Keeping in mind that I'm using a bowl gouge with a 55 degree bevel, a modified fingernail. Now you can see I've left this a little bit thicker than I would a, you know, a wooden bowl. And the reason is because uh, I just want you to be able to see the uh, cedar balls inside the resin. I want to I have a little bit of 3D effect going on. A little bit of depth. With the goal of having you know, a very clear resin. You can... You can see what I'm talking about there. It has a pretty neat look to it, I think. And looking at, at this finish right here, um, I should have left well enough alone, but I didn't. I ended up spraying on some uh, lacquer and it didn't turn out bad, but I'm not thrilled with it. So if this goes up for sale in my Etsy shop, it's going to end up having a fresh uh, finish on it.
I mean, it is nice and uh, shiny and clear, and it's pretty, I think. I hope you like it. I see a lot of flaws myself. But thanks for watching. I sure appreciate you. Semper Fi. Come here, George. Come here, George. Come here, George. Georgie. George. Is that some good eating or what? Is that some good eating? Good boy. Oh, there's a baby possum coming up. See him? That little face out there. Or maybe it's the female. I don't know. <laughs> 